last weekend was a really important weekend for us, um, especially starting out 0-4 with a tough schedule, that we bounced back and started to put together some of the things that we've worked on in practice. Um, Humboldt was a good game for us to start with. I wasn't necessarily um, extremely happy with the win. Um, I felt like that we did some really good things. We made some strides, but that we had a long ways to go. And I told the girls bouncing back the next day that we would have to play a lot more discipline, um, value the ball more, take care of possessions, and play even harder defensively. And I was really proud of the girls on Sunday. I thought East Bay was a big step in the right direction um, as far as staying disciplined on both ends of the court. Um, we were able to lock down um, some certain people that we keyed on. Some of the defensive concepts that we changed going into that game, they did a good job of making adjustments. And then offensively, I felt like we were a lot more patient, moved the ball well, um, especially in key situations. We had two big wins this weekend because like we got our like the hardest preseason out and now and then we were like this can we can make this hard or we can make this easy. Also we uh, we saw the weaknesses of the other team. I like for example we knew that we were more athletic and faster so we got to push more on fast breaks and also I think that one of our uh, Weaknesses on uh, the games that we lost at the beginning was that we weren't um, passing the ball or moving it at all, so we were very stationary. So now we started like to move better and also in defense. I think that we became more vocal and we were communicating the whole time. So I think it's very well set up, and but of course it's a press and sometimes it doesn't go as well as we think. So we got a run back and. Find, find out the shooters as, as fast as we can. But I, th I really like it, and I think that we should keep doing it or even like put it longer during the game. Yeah, I think emotions were running high. I feel like we got more energy from our emotions. Like, yeah. it didn't really like slow us down. It was just pumped up, pumped up, so. And it's amazing when you do a good defense, and like you see all the bench standing up and clapping for you. Like I'm not telling about like a shot or a basket like in, in defense that they cheer, cheer more than in a good offense player. I like that our defense translates to our offense. Yeah. And we had a lot of defensive like soon as they missed or we had a turnover, like we moved the ball and we scored. That's what I like the most. The Pac West is new for nearly all of my kids. Um, even for the ones that we, out of our 11 kids, two played for me last year, but not a lot of minutes. And so it's a new role and a new position for them as well. But for the kids that haven't played, the nine new ones that, you know, they have no idea what to expect. And we tried to prepare them with our non-conference schedule. And we still have a couple non-conference games left. Um, but I said conference is a whole different story. Every game is so important. And from top to bottom, the Pac West is a lot stronger. And that each game, just because we're Academy of Art, they're gonna give us our best shot. Uh, and that we have to come prepared and play discipline and play really hard.